Okay, this is kind of a hard thing to demo live because it depends on the current time and also random numbers, but hopefully it will do the desired thing. Yes, so um, I have this LED matrix that I put up here, and for a while I've had it displaying random quotes from a fortune file just because I haven't figured out what to do with it. And then I saw this online literature clock that seemed kind of cool. It uh, pulls quotes out of uh, a database of, of book quotes that have times in them. Um, and so I thought it would be kind of an interesting thing to put up here. So to do this, first I had to update the code for the display to support multiple colors on one line because previously I just had, a, uh, you could set the color of the whole string, but you couldn't have it change colors within the string. So I wanted to do the thing that the literature clock does, which is to highlight the time within the sentence. Uh, hopefully we'll get another display here in a little while and be able to see that. Um, one of the downsides of this, of course, is that a lot of these are very, very long, so it scrolls for a very long time, but that's okay. It's not, this is not intended to be a practical clock. Um, I still left the clock over in the corner because I do want to glance up there and see what time it is. But see, like, I want to call out the title and author in a contrasting color, so I had to, I had to update the firmware here to support um, putting color codes into the text. And then uh, I grabbed the, the list of quotes from this uh, GitHub project, which I will link to, and uh, wrote a little Python script to process it, and then um, updated my existing code to have a version that basically pulls out of that file and uh, does the MQTT thing to push it to the display. So we should see wherever the time is mentioned in this long, long, long quote, it should have a different color. And I'm just stalling to get to the point where we can see that. How's everybody doing? <laughs> so I thought about truncating, you know, skipping ones that are really, really long. Um, but some of these times only have one quote. Some of them have no quotes. So there are minutes in the day that don't have any quotes here at all. Uh, and what I chose to do for those there we go, there's the 423. So what I chose to do for those is to just display the time in text. So like if there was no 424, it would say it's 424 and 16 seconds in the afternoon or whatever. Since I had previously written code to do that before in what I called the uh, world's most useless clock. So let's just wait a second here. Maybe we can see one more of these before I finish up the video. So I think this will just, you know, it's just something fun to have running in the background. That's all. It's not um, practical in any way. At some point, I want to add more things to this, like the weather and, I don't know, train schedules, whatever it is that I currently care about. Pollen forecast. There we go. So, um, yeah. That's basically the idea. Uh, literature clock as an LED marquee.